Oh my days, this is so spicy. <gasps> Koreans know how to do their ramen. Hello guys, welcome. In today's video I will be trying some of the most popular Korean ramen, like instant ramen, and I'm so freaking excited. Now the most famous brand is Bulldog, and I'll be trying to test as many flavors as possible. So let's get cooking and uh, let's try fancy Bulldog ramen flavors. Today I will be trying habanero lime, one of the latest, and I'm so excited for this one. And as well, the black bean jaja junk hot chicken flavor ramen. Uh, let's do this. So this is the habanero on lime, and it looks pretty nuclear. Let's try it. Oh my days, this is so spicy! <coughs> it's really spicy! Oh my days, let's try some noodles! Mm. Noodles are pretty good. I quite like this one. This is the Jaja Junk flavor, which is black bean Korean sauce, and it looks quite good. It looks fairly spicy as well, so we'll try it and see how is this one. I think this video is gonna be a very weird one, like slash mukbang slash me burning my tongue because these noodles are so freaking spicy. I mean, if you know, you know. So let's try this one and see how it is. This one is nicer, it's spicy, but it's on my acceptable level of spiciness, which is good. I'm actually gonna enjoy this one. And the other one I gave it to my partner because I can't deal with that. That is way too spicy. Like I'll just absolutely die while having that. So um yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this one and I'm gonna rate this one maybe an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I think as long as it's edible, it's still a good one. So it's another day and today we'll be trying the curry and I'm so excited. I just hope it's not too spicy because I think their flavors are amazing, but sometimes the spiciness is way too much. So let's see. Okay, test time. Let's see how the curry one tastes like. Oh, oh my days. Oh, that's again so freaking spicy. I think I'm gonna top it up with a little QP mayo because that's one of the best things to come out of Japan. And I'm gonna top it up with a little egg. So hopefully that should be better. But let's try the noodles. Oh, that looks very good. That is really nice. And when the QP mayo, I think that is such a nice flavor, a little bit sweet. I think it's perfect, but I think I like the previous ones more. We'll definitely do a top at the end and rank which one I like the most. So today we'll be trying Bulldog hot chicken flavor ramen, and this is chew type, and I'm freaking excited. It looks very spicy. And we have the Bulldog sauce, the powder, and of course the noodles. Now I'm thinking to add half of this pack, just because I think it's going to be so spicy, and I don't think I can handle this. So here's my noodles. I've topped it up with a boiled egg, some green onions, and some QP mayo, and let's give it a test and see how it's like. The noodles are really nice and chewy, not that spicy because I didn't add a whole pack. Um, it needs a little bit more salt, but otherwise I'm just gonna devour this because they are so freaking good. 
Another, another day, another type of ramen and this time we have the classic carbonara and the cream carbonara and today we're gonna have this one so let's do it and I have the Korean version now let me tell you it was really difficult to find this one and I went to a shop in London and yeah I was just buzzing to finally find it but I'm really excited about the creamy one as well because that one is even more exclusive like on Amazon it's 28 pounds for five packs which is absolutely absolutely insane and I thought today I'll be having this but like on its own without milk or cheese or anything just to see how is the original taste but I think I'll be adding some eggs and some cheese anyway because that's nicer right so let's do it Ooh, love this adding the sauce a bit tricky to film with the phone because my camera died but we'll be doing our best oh i hope this is not very spicy and i'm still thinking to add some milk or not what do you think i think i'll add some because this always terrifies me this sauce is insanely spicy now the magic powder the cheesy goodness mix 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 added some milk as well and I think I'm gonna add some cheese. Add the cheese and let's make it even more cheesy. Woo. So here's how my carbonara noodles look like. I added an egg and I'm gonna top it up with some green onion because why not? I think I'll be adding a little bit of uh, cucumber. How weird is that? I need some hydration so I think that'll do good. And let's try it. Okay now how good this looks like. My mouth is watering and I already had a little cheeky taste and I think it's pretty spicy but we'll do it because why not then? Yeah let's test Oh, it smells incredible. It smells so cheesy. It's like I'm discovering something something new. Well, everyone's been having this already, so cheers. Let's see how it is. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Seriously, noodles are so chewy and the cheesy gooiness and just everything is so good. Like it's like it's like a symphony of tastes. It's incredible. I think this is my favorite so far. It's really spicy, but with a bit of egg and cheese and milk, I think it's incredible. So I'm just gonna devour this because so far this is the best Samyang I've tried. Maybe a little bit mukbang, eh? Now this is trendy and everyone does it. Because why the hell no? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. It's ramen time! Yeah, you guessed it right. It's another day and today we're trying another type of Samyang. This time is creamy carbonara. And I'm so freaking excited for this one because it's very difficult to find it. For some sort of reason, they don't have it here or at least in all the shops that I've tried to find. And this one is again the Korean version. Uh, I thought I'll top it up with some shiitake mushrooms, but sadly I don't have time to cook those. So I'm just gonna add a little cheese and a little egg and maybe some seaweed perhaps. And let's see how good is this one. I heard it's less spicy, so yay. I've seen on Etsy, they sell this for like seven pounds, one pack, which is insane, like seriously. Seven pounds for a pack of noodles is outrageous. And this is how it looks like. I'd like to believe that it's more authentic now that it's the Korean version, so let's taste it. So as always, we have the huge pack of cheesy goodness and then we have a even huger even bigger pack of like sauce and obviously the rama which looks like this doesn't this look like the creamiest thing 
ever like it's so freaking creamy because i added extra cheese and some seaweed and some egg as well um it looks very fancy but i'm quite gutted because the yolk is not runny so for a bit of context i didn't spend to do my shiitake mushrooms because i'm actually heading to work and i've been doing this ramen thing for lunch for lunches like every day so it's a bit of a rush but you know I try to have or I've tried until now to have a flavor each day so I don't have like a lot in one day so you know I don't make a difference because let's be honest they're all freaking spicy I am so excited to try it it looks like I said the creamiest thing ever and look at this it's so beautiful and it smells it smells even better so doing a little mukbang again or a little try test and see how it is ah. mm. Mm. Oh my mm. this is so good seriously Koreans know how to do their ramen. This might be the best instant ramen I've ever had. So rich, it's so creamy, it's so just umami, like that flavor that is incredible. I never thought you can make instant ramen so good. It's much more creamier than the regular carbonara. It's less spicy, which is perfect because to be honest, that was a little bit much for me i feel a bit of a pain after that in my stomach so i think this one is definitely my favorite so far like it has just the right amount of spiciness which makes me to enjoy it even more to be honest i think this is the only one that i will still be buying because it's so freaking delicious like seriously if you've never tried it i highly encourage you to do it of course if you can find it definitely worth it Mmm, unbelievable. So today we are making Samyang, the cheesy flavor, and this time it's the Korean version as well. I'm already cooking my egg and my yolk is broken again. I just don't know. I feel like I'm cursed. Every single time I try to film, just didn't work out. So I promise you, I have better culinary skills. I just don't know what's happening. But I'm so excited to try this one because it's the last one in my journey and I'm gonna add lots of toppings. So let's do it. This time I've decided to cook them in a pan because why the hell not? And I'm gonna use a fork because to be honest, I'm struggling sometimes to use the chopsticks. Okay, so here's my ramen. You can't really see it because I've topped it up with the egg, the spam and the green onions. So I think it's just about here, but it smells incredible and I can't wait to try it. Okay, moment of the truth. Let's try the last carbonara. That I will be carbonara. The last ramen that I'll be trying in a while. Yeah, let's see how crazy spicy it is. Look at that goodness. Oh my days. I just love this smell. I can't get enough of this. To be honest, I think we've elevated so much this ramen that at this point it doesn't even feel like instant ramen. Like everything that we add and the cheese and the spam and the spices, it just doesn't feel like instant noodles. So why do I talk? Let's let's try this. I start to get the spice, so obviously it's really spicy. Not much difference between this one and the carbonara or the creamy one, but it's still really nice. So I'm just gonna devour this plate because it just calls my name. That was me trying all the flavors of Samyang that I could find in UK shops. And what do I think? I think they're a little bit overhyped, if I'm being honest, because in some of them, all I could taste is spice. Like there are so many flavors, but then I'm thinking, what's the point of adding so many flavors when all you can taste is spice? So in the beginning, I thought I'll make like a top 10 most favorites, but I came to the conclusion that I'll be doing just top three. Number three is going to be the Samyang curry one. Number two is going to be the carbonara one. And number one is this one which is the creamy carbonara and it was the most difficult to find it like i had to do my proper fbi search for that like seriously i couldn't find it anywhere except in one shop in london but my all-time favorite noodles is the kimchi flavor by shinin 
and the migorang i think i don't know which country produces that but they are like the best instant noodles ever anyway it was lots of fun to try them and i'm really happy that i've got tons of this instant ramen that i have in my cupboard one of them was i think about two pound fifty or one pound ninety or something a little bit overpriced but that's because they are being shipped all the way from korea and that's absolutely fine it was cool, it was interesting, I can see why everyone is raving about them on TikTok but I think it's just a trend that is gonna go, obviously like everything else Yay, for the win, instant noodles, I love them but I don't think I'll be ever getting them like actually to do so much effort to find them so I hope you enjoyed me watching eating instant ramen if you did smash that huge thumbs up and do let me know if you want to see more food related videos because I've got a couple of cheeky ideas so yeah you just stay tuned until next time Mwah. bye